Tonight, an Arizona company that's under the leadership of Mesa's vice mayor is under scrutiny for voter registration forms. 12 News confirmed this afternoon that the group has caused problems in Maricopa County, and now there are issues in at least one other state. 12 News journalist Erica Stapleton is breaking down what we've learned. Arizona business records indicate that Mesa Vice Mayor Francisco Heredia runs Field Corps, the company that's accused of being involved in problematic voter registration forms. And it's not the first time the company has been under the microscope. Voter registration forms can come with complications. This has been a thorn in the side of county recorders throughout Arizona for many years, but it has picked up in recent years. Including the 90,000 registration forms dropped off on the October 7th registration deadline this year, according to Maricopa County recorder Stephen Richer. We had people with entire trash bags full of voter registration forms in our lobby. Of the big batch. 40,000 approximately of those voter registration forms were, I think the charitable word would be to say they were needing attention. Like forms that were damaged, torn, hard to read, are just flat out wrong. Uh, voter registration forms that tried to register Mickey Mouse, Jerry Seinfeld, Donald Duck, among others. Richard said a group that played a quote, a significant role in that big drop off, Field Corps, a company managed by Mesa Vice Mayor Francisco Heredia. Yes, that is Field Corps. Uh, yes, this is a group that we have alerted in the past that we have been not wholly satisfied with the voter registration forms that have been submitted. Of the 40,000 problematic forms dropped off in Maricopa County on the registration deadline, Richer couldn't confirm how many came from Field Corps. But it isn't the only issue with the company this year. In Monroe County, Pennsylvania, the district attorney there shared in a statement on social media that 21 voter registration forms linked back to Field Corps were referred to the district attorney's office by the Board of Elections. The DA said they determined 16 of those field core forms were fraudulent, saying, quote, the specific fraudulent character of these applications involve forged signatures, often with incorrect or incomplete identifying information. Last year, the Arizona Attorney General's office said that two dozen forms from field core in Navajo and Mojave counties were sent to the AG's office for investigation. That case was referred to the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and is still open. The AG's office said that all those forms were rejected and none of those people were registered to vote. Neither Heredia nor his staff responded to my requests for an interview. Richard says these issues with Field Corps are things they've discussed with the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and the Arizona Attorney General's Office. And we have admonished them to please, please, please submit better voter registration forms to please do more quality control. These incomplete or inaccurate forms are taxing on county recorder's offices. Richer says by law they have to reach out to the people on the forms to try and get information, more information that can get them registered. These are the safeguards that are in place that seem to be working here. The Arizona Attorney General's office says they have not received any complaints here about Field Corps this year or any other groups involved with voter registration. Erica Stapleton, 12 News. Erica, thanks. Again, Vice Mayor Heredia did not return our repeated request for comment on this story. 12 News attempted to catch up with him tonight at the Mesa City Council meeting, but he wasn't there. We will continue to update this story as we learn more.